So how do you work up to Broadway? Like, what's that process like? Do you just go to a fuck ton of auditions just like TV? Or is there something that changes that makes it happen? How does that work? Ooh, that's a really good question. It's Because uh... it doesn't seem like there would be as many auditions available for, for theater. I mean, you can do no. all the off-Broadway stuff, but then you're stuck doing off-Broadway stuff. So. No, it just takes a while to get on the radar, okay. I would say. It took me, it took me, let's see, four years before I got my first Broadway show. And uh, in the meantime, I did fringe shows and um, I did readings and it, it really is just building your network and, and work begetting work. Yeah. Um, but like with, with Avenue Q, um, that show, I auditioned for like maybe nine, ten that's, times. That's the crazy over the course thing of about like a Broadway. Year and a half. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. how many times you audition. That's so nuts to me. Yeah. It was the reason it shaked out uh, shook out like that uh is because they were like casting a tour and then casting Vegas and it was always like timing was not working out or the you know dates were being pushed back and stuff like that. And then like I just happened when um the original uh Kate Monster you know announced that she was leaving. I just happened to like be in town and, yeah. and so I, I don't know it's all like awesome <laughs> but I was in, I had been, you know, in the, in the pipeline. Sure. You know, in those while. four years though, how many Broadway shows did you audition for? Oh, good before question. Avenue Q? Oh gosh. Was um, it a handful or was that a... I mean, it was like a decent amount. Oh, okay. At the time, you know, Wicked and Rent and all those shows were always looking for replacements and stuff. So, I mean, I, I, I'd say a good amount. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it is kind of like TV in that regard. You audition yeah. for a number, and then eventually you get there. Yeah. But then there's 27 callbacks. Right. <laughs> exactly. So when did puppeteering come into your thing? Did, when did did you do it? You did a pre Avenue Q, right? Or no? No, I taught oh. I taught myself. Well, I mean, I taught myself like the basics, and then I got once you get to a certain callback level, they send you to puppet camp. And oh. One, and, um, so one of the uh, puppeteers from the show um, gives you kind of, you know. The ba- m- further building on the basics. That's hilarious. Yeah. I didn't realize but that. But I had kind of like over that year and a half, I had bar- I borrowed a friend's puppet and I would practice a whole lot in the mirror. And because I really, I, I mean, that show, like to this day, is maybe it's one of so my fun. favorites. And, and I just wanted it so desperately. Yeah. And so I just practiced and practiced and practiced. That's awesome. Talk about hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess you could say it was a fun, fun, uh, fun coincidence that and I you, really enjoyed it. So and well. you did that show for quite a while, right? Yeah, I did it for two years. Multiple years, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what is that like? People, it's so <laughs> funny. We, we we aspire to create. We want to do something so fulfilling. And I could see after like six months, you're doing the same show every night. Talk about mundane, repetitive jobs. Oh, I don't want to go to a cubicle, we all say. But ultimately, you're doing the same thing. Did, did you still f- feel that same excitement? at the end of year two that you did at the first couple of weeks? I mean... Or did you manufacture that somehow? It, de- it depends on the day. I mean, you, you just can't get around get, getting bored after a while. Uh, so, yeah, you have to, like, find new ways to challenge yourself, whether that's, like, giving yourself a, a little, like, secret to think about for this particular performance or, I don't know... What was great about Avenue Q is it was so challenging just with the puppetry and uh, playing multiple characters. Um, and it was so well written and so, yeah, so, so funny. Yeah. Like, that's why I could do that show for two years. There yeah. are some shows like I just could not do for longer, you know, than a year, which is the normal contract. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, you, you, you get you get real bored. People get really <laughs> punchy. Start doing you know playing jokes on each other on yeah. the stage or like you know you know that sensation you have sometimes when you've like driven home so many times. Sometimes you'll get home and be like I don't remember yeah. driving home. Right. It could it's like that right. sometimes, and you're just like, oh, did I just do the the closing number because I don't recall it? <laughs> um, or like you'll be you'll realize that you're singing, but then you're like thinking about your grocery list on some <laughs> other level. It's 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 crazy. <laughs> well, I just think it's funny because we we want to get in this to do something different, but then ultimately, like especially theater, we end up just doing the same goddamn thing every over and over. Yeah, it's challenging. It's, it's interesting, challenging. and that's why I loved improv so much. You yes. know, or still love it. You know, because you just don't get that novelty <laughs> when you're doing uh, when you're blessed, honestly, with a long running show. Which yeah, is that great job security that we all want. But yeah, did anything ever happen with the puppet or anything crazy happen that? 
threw you off? Like, I oh. feel like with your personal self, you can usually be, <laughs> see a th- problem coming, but with all those puppets, did anything ever, like, fall off or... Oh, God. Y- yeah, no, not, uh, not on any of my puppets. Again, you know, you're dealing with these, like, amazing, amazing puppets, but I, I know that I've heard stories of, like, you know eyeballs falling off in the middle of a number or something like that but no they, they, those puppets were so well done okay uh, <laughs> you never know but you when, never the know. more moving you parts know. you add the yeah. more things that could go oh wrong. yeah yeah 